All right. So, uh, last week we read Revelation 22, verses 1 and 2. We're going to read those again tonight. Uh, last week was again a, a kind of a go-between, uh, answering some yeah, questions. Yeah. Uh, we've done that before in the past between chapters. So tonight we're going to officially uh, start chapter 22 in these two verses and actually get into uh, uh, this specific uh, scripture here. So, here we go. Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 and 2. It says, And he showed me a pure river of water of life. Clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. All right. Wow. That's some good stuff. Praise God. Okay. I'll start off with this statement here, then we'll talk a little about this and get into Bible lesson. All right, so uh, this is the end of the Bible. All we know about the God is here in the Bible, in this book, the, the Bible. Uh, don't let anybody fool you. Nobody has any special revelation other than what's in this book. So if you've read it from one end to the other, you, you've got it. All you're going to know about God and all you need to know about God is contained in this book, the Bible, and only in this book. So... If we're in that we're in the last chapter of not only Revelations, but we're in the last chapter of the whole Bible. So everything about God is in this book. Yeah, nobody can come and say, you know, I I got something. An angel told me a little something different. And I want to give it to you. No, the angel would not. When we read this book, and it'll tell you at the end. No, whatever you know. Now, the the Holy Spirit might help you remember or take you to a scripture in the Bible or help you remember something that's in the Bible. But this is it. Everything we know about, and everything we need to know about God is in this Bible. And it's right here, and we're at the last book. So, I'm going to have uh, uh, Debbie, I guess, if you would, read verses uh, 1 and 2. And who knows how we'll get through that. We do have a couple pictures, though, of this this uh, river. Here, hold on, let me, let me jump on that. Let me pick back off that before we move forward. Okay. That, that everything we need to know is in this book. There's no special revelation. That is 100%. Um, the only thing I would add, Daniel talks about in, in the end times, people will go to and forward and throw and, and knowledge will increase. I would better way to say that in you know today's terms, if I could say it that way, our understanding might increase. Our understanding oh, yeah. might get better. You were saying that there, and we, you cut, you, you moved. Yeah. Our understanding, the Holy Spirit can open our eyes, and we can understand. A lot of people get that confused with the revelation. Oh, oh, this I have this revelation from the Lord about this scripture right here that. Okay, you, you understand it better than you used to. Now you're able to, to, to speak it better and know it better and, and put Scripture with Scripture. But as far as uh, hearing a new word, a new revelation, uh, like Paul got the revelation of grace and then he wrote the uh, large chunk of the New Testament. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's done. So... I like. Thank you for saying that. Oh yes. yeah, yeah. I appreciate this, that. This, this is it. And, 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 I wanted to fit that in there somewhere. I didn't know where he's putting that. In. I like that. Right. And you know the the events of, of of that happens in the world help us to understand the Bible more. So yes. we understand the Bible more than maybe people did a hundred years ago because yes. things are happening. Right. You know, and and at the end of this, <laughs> imagine when we get up here, how much we'll understand this chapter a whole lot better. Like, oh, that's what yeah. it's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you know, our understanding will increase and increase. Yeah, and that, of course, at the end of the lesson, the pastor comes over, goes through some things, uh, thirty minutes of things that's happening that go right along with what the Bible says. That of course didn't happen a hundred years ago. Couldn't have happened a hundred years ago. Right. The technology and all that wasn't there, but it's there now. One and two, uh, my dear wife. Okay, so we learn in the in the previous chapter that there was no seed, but that doesn't mean that there are no bodies of water. The river originates from God, and and of course it's it's life giving water. So that's what it tells us it is. So even though we learned in the last chapter there was no seed, that didn't mean there wasn't no water. Uh, now we learn there is a river of water. Now we're gonna we're gonna ask some questions here, and and we do have a couple of pictures maybe that may or may not help us out. 
Boy, that's a beautiful picture right there. Yeah, that's a that's a very good one. Okay, so the street of gold has a river flowing in the middle of it. Is that the way we're going to, is that what we think? That the streets of gold, right down in the middle of the streets of gold, there's a river? All right, so so there's a, there's a street of gold on one side and the street of gold on the other side, but right down the middle of the streets of gold is a river. Ah, huh? he's made it bigger, see? I think that's the best picture of it all. So, all right. Now, it's a river. It's not a stream. It's not a creek. It's a river. How wide is this river? Well, that's a great question. How wide is it? <coughs> anybody have any? Anybody got, got a guess? Can you, can you throw a rock across it? I mean, can you can you see from one side to the other? Is, is, is it wide like the Mississippi, or is it wide like, wide like the Tar River? I mean, how wide is this river? Mm. Good guy. Just thought I'd ask. Uh, how deep is it? Ooh. How deep is this river? Two feet deep? Twenty feet deep? Five hundred feet deep? Now we're in heaven. Heaven's fourteen hundred miles this way. Fourteen hundred miles this way. Fourteen hundred miles this way. How deep is this river? How wide is this river? Uh -huh. How long is it? Well, I'm going to assume it's at least fourteen hundred miles long. How long is the longest river in the United States? Anybody got a guess? I, I don't know, but there was some of these rivers that was up there in the uh, Garden of Eden, the Euphrates and Tigris and all these. There's some, there's some pretty big rivers if you look at the ones today that have those names. I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, they flow all the way down through the uh, that whole land into the ocean. So if you figure, yeah, that's right. If you figure this, if the river runs straight, I don't, it might, it might, I don't know that it runs straight. If the river runs straight, it goes from one side of heaven to the other side of heaven. It's fourteen hundred miles long, but I don't know that it runs straight. You got an idea where it runs straight? If, it, if it does that, it'll divide. It'll divide the city, and will people be living on the left side and right, or the east side and the south side and west side? North? I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Which side of the which side of heaven do you want to live on? All right. How long is this river? All right. All right. Let me ask you this now. We got this river. This is all we know about this river, guys. So that's why I want to throw this out there because there's some, going to be a lot, you know, looking at this thing, people talking about this river, and I, I want to tell you what, they must have got a special revelation from God. <laughs> all right, do we just drink the water from it? Is that that's where we get our water? Do we just go down there and get a cup and drink the water from the river? Is that how we get our water? Okay. Yeah, the but with your, with your hands, you'd like to cup your hand. Like Jesus with the, yeah. the armies, he said, "Those that lap it like a dog, yeah. those that John." I mean, yeah. If we if we want to drink, is that is that is this our is this our drinking supply? It says it's got to it's it's a, a got the gift of life in it, so to speak. You know, how about fishing? You like to go fishing? Well, you I think in heaven we're going to go fishing in this river? <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Chip? We're going to go fishing in this river? You don't think so? Chip, Chip says no. I got, I'm, going to get, I'm going to get down. Even. Listen, if this is the only body of water we have, is it the only body of water we have? Is this river the only? I mean, it says it has no sea in heaven. So it's all we got. Now, if this river is 1,400 miles long, mm -hmm. then yes, that's, that's probably big enough for, for all of us. How many millions of people are going to be in heaven? <clears throat> How about swimming? Do we go swimming in this river? You want to go swimming in heaven, and this is the only body of water. Then you know I don't like going swimming. No, I know you. I don't like swimming. going swimming at all. Not even in the pool because I just feel like I'm in a tub with strangers. You know what I'm saying? It's not. I don't like. And if I'm in the river, then I'm just in a muddy water with, you know, fish poop. I'm just saying, I'm not, you know, a friend of that. But I'll be daggone if there's a river up there. If the Lord lets me get in, I'm getting in it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, I ain't missing out on whatever I'm in that river. Show me that one chip where the water's run all which way. There's another picture up there. Yeah, there you go. You got the water running this way and that. Yeah, that, that thing's curving all through heaven, see. That is not just going straight. That is curving all through heaven. It's not, it's not straight. Didn't say it was straight. Didn't say it wasn't straight, see. But that is curving all through heaven. I guess if my laundry gets dirty, I go down there and wash my clothes down there. We gonna wash your clothes down there? Or do we have a washer and dryer in our in our mansion? Our robes. We're washing our robes. We're gonna wash our robes. 
Them guys was in, a, in all dressed in white. Rinse off our halos and all that. I, I don't know. In our heavenly bodies, will we need to wash it all? No. Now that's what. It, that, j, j, do we need to drink? So we got we 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 got a we got a river of water, and we don't know why we got it. We don't know whether we even need it or not. But we got a river of water. It's there for a purpose. So what is the purpose of the river of water in heaven? Beauty. beauty. Jimmy says beauty. Beauty. Is it is it going to have is it going to have fish in it? it it's going to have life in it. It says water life. It's going to have it's going to have a. Uh, uh, swans swimming across. He's going to have swans going through it. There's just some swans in there. And some ducks and stuff. <laughs> well, that's what I said. I want to get you to thinking about God has put this and he's talked about this river. Re read it to me one more time, Debbie, about the river. All right, so we, we, we want to talk about we want to talk about this. I don't know when we got started here, or where we're at, but I want to get into this tree here, but because that's the, the next thing. But I want to think that we God has given us a river, and we think we we don't know whether it's straight or whether it curves through town or how which way it goes. But God has given us a river for our own pleasure and our own use. God has blessed us with this river, and. We don't know what to do with it. But now when we get to heaven, we'll know. Yes, See, when we get to heaven, we'll know what to do with it. I don't know, you know. <coughs> when we get to heaven, we'll know, we'll know what to do with it. It's on Main Street. I'll tell you where it's at. It's on, it's on Main Street. <laughs> it's it's right now. now, you think about this. All right. Street, not Second Street, Main Street. Uh, there is a, there it says on each side of the river. See, read, that, read that again, David. On each side of the river grew a tree of life. All right, give me a, give me another picture, if we will, chip of the tree of life on each side of the 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 river here. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Now that that might only be one tree. I don't know, but you see now you see the saints of God up here. You see you see that's supposed to be us, and and then there's some. Is that a bird up in a tree? There's well, there's birds a, up there. There's a bird. There's a bird up here in that tree, and there's a big. Okay, so let's read that thing. Uh, a tree of life is it is the tree of life the name of the tree like is is the tree of life the name of the tree like a, an oak tree is the tree of life the name of the tree a oak tree a pine tree a tree of life is that the name of the tree so. jimmy says he uh oh here we got he got it you going back to the garden of Eden with that one or well yeah <laughs> I mean, i'm just saying that that animal was drinking from that one. I'm just saying there was an animal drinking from the river. Yeah, I'm just saying there was there was a zebra or something. There, there was some animal drinking. From the, uh, now we we'll get we got to go get the other ones, the other the other trees. Yeah, more more trees by the river. There's I don't I don't want to get to this one yet, but this one's good. Uh, so those are a bunch of trees no, lying no. down the water. Keep going. Well, the cycle, we'll cycle go. Through. Oh, there you go. There you go. See see the trees going down through there. There's a river and there's a, there's the yeah, and there's a, there's the homes on each side, the mansions. There's the gold uh, streets. There's the river going through there. They don't show any fruit on. Okay, how many trees are there? It's a great question. How many trees are there? Now I listened to one guy, if I may tell you, and he seemed to be a specialist in uh, whatever this is, and he said that as a lot of people say it's many trees or they have whatever, but he says according to the language, he was a language guy, he said the language indicates, indicates that the tree is singular. He says a tree. A tree on both sides of that's, the river. That's exactly what he said. And now he had the river splitting though around the tree. Oh. So that it touched both sides of the river and the tree was on kind of like an island in the middle. We don't have a, a picture of that one. So it kind of went around the tree so the tree touched both sides of the of the water, but the tree was in the middle, kind of on its own little island. Well, now this this tree expert, did he tell you whether there's any no, other no, 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 language expert? Other this language expert, no. tree is singular. <laughs> did he tell you whether there's any other trees in heaven? 
No, 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 no. No, we didn't. We didn't get that far. We didn't get that far. So now, is this 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 tree of life that's on both sides of the river? Read it to me again, Devin. All right, this this tree of life. Now, is that the only tree in heaven? Is there other trees there? Is there maple trees or? And so, are we just got one tree in heaven? I, I will say, my expert fellow on the language did say. Now, guys, I don't know. He did say it. Don't tell me. I'm just telling you what the language says. So, I mean, he he did throw that disclaimer out there. So, how many trees are there? One tree, two trees. Debbie says two trees, on one each, on each side. On each side, there's a tree of life. So I think there'd be a tree on this side and a tree on that side. Now, now if the river is 1,400 miles long, if it goes from one end of the heaven to the other, and there's one tree on the right and one tree on the left, how big of a tree is that? Doesn't say it. You know, we think about a tree as a tree, but it could be a pretty big tree. Can, can we look? Can we look? Yeah, yeah. Can you get the the gold the gold bordered walled city one where the tree was down in the corner. Yeah, it was. It looked like it. There you go. If you can zoom in on those trees there, as best you can. They kind of there's one on each side, and it if you grab it and move it, just click. That there you go. It's on each side, but it kind of grew together in the middle. I don't know, but it looked like two trees to me. <laughs> That's just somebody else's description again. All right, we got 12 crops of fruit each month. Well, I asked you some question about this. Delicious. That each tree, if there's two trees or more than one, have 12 crops of fruit on them. Does each tree have 12 crops of fruit? I'll go with the next question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Let's say if they have 12 crops of fruit this month, do they have a different crop of 12 fruits next month? For, for instance, let me say, for instance, I got down here, for example, do they have four nuts, four vegetables, four fruits? Then next month they have four different nuts, four different vegetables, four different fruits? Is that is that the case? So that every month, I read to them again, Debbie, they grew a tree of life, 12 crops of fruit with a fresh crop each month. Wouldn't that be just one crop a month? I mean, that would equal out 12 I, months. I like it. I like it. So, so one, so one, one month will be apples. Mm -hmm. Next month will be oranges. Okay. So it's <laughs> one crop, and then the next month will be a different crop. I like it. It could be. All right. How do we know how long the month is? <laughs> All right, I'm going to move on. All right, and I got down here. Or is there 12 different trees, each bearing its own fruit? Like one has nuts, one has berries, one has apples, one has... Is there 12 different trees with 12 different fruits on one on each tree? Hold on, hold on. If I'm going to ask this to deli deliver. So if you have the 12 different trees with one on each tree... Are you saying one month this tree comes into fruition and its fruit is there, and then the next month it, it goes away, but this one comes in and this one comes in, or they all come in and every month they get a new, fresh rotation of fruit so on you, the tree? So you have two questions in one. So, so How are is, you there, is there a time of harvest? So does this tree start with a small apple and it has to get big and ripen? And then, the, then it ripens and you eat of it. And this other one starts out with a, a small orange and gets bigs and ripens. Right. The, the, or is it automatically fully ripe and we eat it? Mm. Then next month we eat something else. It all goes away or disappears. Or so are we? Are we in different times of harvest? This one we're ready to eat. This one's just started. This one's halfway there. Where are we at in this thing? Yeah, now we wouldn't have. That's a good. See, there, do we eat or do we don't eat? Boy, we're causing stirred up arguments in the church. There it is. That's right. I'll be already home. <laughs> What's the purpose of the crops? I'll tell you what I do. What's the purpose of it, Mary said? She said we don't need to eat. Why are we eating these fruits? 
What's the purpose of it? <laughs> so we have we have a, a river we're not sure of. Now we have a tree or two trees. So let's look at the difference of the trees. Here's one big tree. Show me show me another one there. I hope he gets the one I want. It's okay. A, yeah, there, there you go. Now there's a tree. It looks like he's got a pears, uh, tomatoes, That's a uh, onions, tree. bananas. Uh, carrots. I'm so, looking tree. Now let me ask you this now, because if this, if we have one tree and this is it, now let's go back with how many people is in heaven? A uh, hundred million people. Sure. Uh, how many of us going to get around that tree? How trees that big is that tree going to be if all of us want to go out there and get an apple? As big as God wants to make it. <laughs> all right, give me, give me another one. That's good. That's very good. I like that. I don't know whether that's it. I don't know whether it's... Now, see this great big giant tree? It may be just be one tree. Okay, now... I like this one personally. I like this one a lot. So, we don't see the fruit. No, there ain't no fruit. But you see that river. You actually see Jesus up here. You see you see Jesus. And you see animals eating and, and drinking. And angels and birds. And so, yeah, if there's one tree... It's going to be a giant tree, wouldn't you think? Yeah. And, huge. And, and there we are around it. So is that what it's going to be? All right. Put some tiny angels flying around. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Yeah. All right. We're going to go to the leaves now. Read it. Read it again, Debbie. What about those leaves? The leaves were used for medicine to heal the nation. The leaves were used for medicine to heal the nation. Does this mean... That if you eat the leaves, you will never get sick. You know what I mean? Are you ever going to go to Genesis and any of this? We, we, we got all kinds of places to go, but okay, I, I didn't know I didn't it's going going to my answers when we go anywhere. <laughs> I guess. Yes, sir. Does it mean if you eat the leaves, you'll never get sick? It says to heal the nations. Hey, we in heaven? Who's getting sick in heaven? Nobody. Nobody's getting sick in heaven. Now we'll read this here again. It says, the leaves were used for medicine to heal the nation. All right. So if we're in heaven and we don't get sick, hmm. Uh, so there's, 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 there's no sickness. So we never get sick. So. Okay. Does this mean that the leaves will heal any rift or disputes between the nations? So one nation... Won't get angry with another nation? You know, I was, I was going to go to healing could mean a lot of things other than sickness. Yeah. I mean, if, if we, again, I don't know where you're going with this as far as God. No, 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 no. Is. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, not, I'm but, letting the people leave me. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if you're working or tilling the garden, my son particularly loves to use a shovel. And one time he scraped the side of his foot with that shovel. Ooh, it hurt him bad. We had to throw some neosporin on it and a bandage. And, I mean, I don't know what we're going to be doing up there, but. What's healing mean? Healing of the nations, too. Nations. Healing of the nations. You mean we're not all one nation? Uh, are we going to be different nations in heaven? I mean, all, and all, of, all, of all those nations, are all those nations going to live inside the heavenly city? Or is there people going to be living on the outside of the city? Oh, <laughs> Before you, I'll try to get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I, I, got, I, I got down here. Remember, John is seeing this for the first time, yes. and he is trying his best to interpret for us the things that he does not understand himself. Uh, and then I'm, I'm back over there with, with Jimmy. Do we even need to eat and drink in heaven at all? You know, so if we're not eating the fruit, we're not drinking from the, from the tree of life. We're not eating the fruit. Is it there for the animal seed? If we're not drinking the water, uh, are the animals celestial beings like us? No. No. So maybe maybe this is not for us at all. Maybe it's for the animals. Same way with our with our uh, our, our appearance, who we are. Do we? Does this body that is immortal, uh, that's uh, like Christ, do we need to wash? 
and think so. So maybe this is maybe this is just for animals. Maybe it's, we have the beautiful animals, and we see the animals, and we have the beautiful uh, uh, a tree and stuff. Have we heard about this tree of life at any other time? We have. Where did we hear yeah. about it? Huh? Well, what did he say in Genesis about the tree of life? What did the Bible say? Hmm. Did he say they could eat of the tree of life? Yeah. What? No. Oh, we got conflicting yeah. knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. yeah. So they could eat of one tree, but they couldn't eat of the other tree. Right. So the tree of life was the one they could eat of, right? right. The, the the tree of. You want to go back here? Well, go on back here. It depends when we talking before or after the fall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was this sword that was put in place and after folks got kicked out. And the Lord said they might eat that tree and live forever. We're going to kick them out. That's, tr that's true. So this is not the first time we've seen the tree of life. Uh, 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 and it says the, the river of life or the waters of life. And if we talk about uh, living waters, have we heard the term living waters before? Where have we heard that at? Something about a belly and a river. I got a river of life. Flowing. Makes the lame go on. I'm blind. So, so uh, is this symbolic? Is there really a river up there and really a tree up there and really leaves and, and, and really uh, go, streets of gold? And Is it really up there? Well, of course it is. Yes. Well, of course it's up there. <laughs> yes, it's there. And he showed me. That's what I say. Of course it's there. Yes. Uh, the the angel and some people say it's not even an angel, but the answer the Bible is very clear. The angel showed John this, and he'd seen stuff he'd never seen before in his life, and he wrote it down, and he saw a tree on one side of the river and a tree on the other side of the river. Doesn't mean there's not only two trees. That's all John saw. But the thing, the the the, the river is fourteen hundred miles long. If it's anything, he didn't see fourteen hundred miles. No. So on down there somewhere else, it could be a, a, a tree. But also, this tree could be fourteen hundred miles high. Could be huge. It could be huge. Yeah, well, this tree could be just tremendously huge. Oh, you know. Oh, go back to our gold city. Go back to our gold yeah. wall city. That's a, that's a great one right there. You imagine that wall is supposed to represent, what, 1,400 miles high? Yeah. If that represents how high that is, them trees, yeah, them trees are massive. It's, it's a massive tree. What would what, how, how, you say? Up into space? Uh, up into space, 60 miles up into space. Yeah. There's another one here with the people that's real little. Go back go back to the, go back again. We got another one. And you see the people in it, and the people are very small. I think it's the gold. I think it's straight down the... In the, down in the bottom there, I don't know. Can we get down? Can we pull the picture of it all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the people down there? We little fellows down there. See, there's people down there. And there's steps down into the water. See, in this one here, there's people are going down. There's steps for somebody to go down into the water. Now, let me ask you this. If you went down there and went swimming, we'd get to somewhere else. And you stayed down there for longer than you should, will you drown? Step into now. the water. Ain't no way to drown, is it? If you climbed up to the top of that tree and it's 1,400 miles high and you slipped and fell out of the tree and hit that golden, uh, 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 would you be all right? Be fine. Be fine. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Be fine. Be fine. I got one more question to ask you, then we're done for the night. And it's going to start in, in chapter uh, 3. Verse 3. Verse 3, but I don't want to read chapter 3. All right. <clears throat> Now, we're going back now. Think about this. Did everybody in the millennial reign join Satan's army? At the end of the millennial reign, you know, we had a big fight, and Satan had an army. Did everybody in the millennial reign join Satan's army? What do you say? Well, if they didn't, what happened to them? <clears throat> they just died. <clears throat> okay. They just hopped in there with us. Yes, the, good ones, the good ones did. The ones that are seeking God 
and try to find him and keep the word of God. That's right. So what happens to those folks? Just a question. Maybe you look it up. What? <laughs> he knows where I'm going with this. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, what happens to those? So if all of them didn't join, there's 144,000. Surely they didn't join. If all of them didn't join Satan's army, and uh, they all was cast into hell, well, what happened to those that didn't join? Just think I'd throw that out there. Mm. All right, so we're doing three and four and five next week, so you can see how this is going to go. <laughs> I, I want to, listen, this is all we know. It is. All we know of this is this first two verses. That's <coughs> all we know. And we have streets of gold. We have a river of life. And we have a tree that bears at least one tree, or Debbie says two, that bears 12 fruits. Every month, a different fruit or a different crop. 12 crop. And their leaves are for the healing of the nations. That's what John, that's all we know. Guess where we're going next? next uh, <laughs> guess where we're going on three and four? And five. All right, next week, I won't, I won't, I won't tempt you any. <laughs> uh, we're going to answer some of these questions, but we're not going to answer them all because we don't know. Page four. So, so I had to make sure we'd already hit this thing I want to say here. Go ahead, so, far away. Yeah. It, it, back in, in chapter 21, it, it tells us that, uh, see here, oh, I just had it for a second. There we go. In verse 23, it says, The city had no need for sun, neither moon, uh, to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and then the lamb is the light thereof. If, and you, you might eventually hear this, if we tell the seasons, particularly the month, we, we do a lunar calendar. Our month is based on the moon cycle yeah. from full moon to full moon is a month. And it's an odd thing when we have two full moons in a month. We call it something special and, you know, a big moon, etc. There's different closeness to the earth, all that. But we do our months by the lunar calendar. That's right. But if there's no moon, how long is a month? Because it says there's a fruit uh, that yielded its fruit every month. The tree, excuse me, yielded its fruit every month. But there's, we just... Which, there's no sun nor no moon. The, the Lord lights the whole place. So I think it's so wonderful that if we just just pick it on that for a second, if we can't even figure out how there's going to be a month, it's going to be better than we could ever think. God has held some things back, back for His own His own awesomeness. Amen. And if Amen. if we see how awesome, Lord, how in the world, how are we even going to have one month to the next if there ain't even no moon? God's going to do something special. Amen. If he's going to do something special with that, then it'll be special with the fruit. It'll be special with the leaves. It'll right. be special with the river. It'll be special with everything. And it's, I, I can't comprehend how there's no month or how there's the month with no moon. So there's no way I can comprehend anything else. So the Lord's like, just put it down there with the tree. Here, I'm going to show you just a sneak peek. Because you ain't going to understand anything else you see anyways. So here you go. Write down as everything you can see. you got five seconds. John's over there just to get it. Just to get it. There's a tree. There's a tree. Anyway. And, there's, and, 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 and you're talking about month. If, if, if there, there's no night, then how long is a day? Right there. So there's so much. This will say. So if a month is 30 days and there's no night, because we have a night and day at 24 hours, right. then that's one day. And then seven of those is a week. Yeah. But there's no night at all, and you know in the in the in the Jewish Old Testament, I mean, tomorrow began the the sun. The it was the the sun and morning were the next day. Not we we do it we do it differently. I mean, the sun rises; it's a new morning. But that's not how it was in the Old no. Testament. That's why a lot of people get confused on the whole three days in the grave and all that. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's started a couple hours ago. Today is technically Thursday if we did it the way the Old Testament did it. That's right. Right, and it's Thursday all the way until you know, the thing pops up tomorrow, and then it'll be Friday. So, any of it. But, yeah, so there's there's so many things. If the next day started with the moon in the Old Testament and there ain't no moon, I tell you what, it's really going to be something special. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, you, no, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it should excite us. Oh, yeah. it, really, about it, yeah. it should excite us that yeah. there's wonders in heaven that John saw, and he, and of course, we'll read that John really gets confused. We'll we'll see that uh, in, in this chapter. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. Uh, and John's he's an apostle of God. Wrote parts of the Bible. 
you know, and knew who Christ was. Yet he gets confused. It overwhelms him. And I'm sure it's going to overwhelm us. Sure, sure. You know, he goes drop down and worship the name once. You know what I mean? He got so excited. I got to worship some. This is awesome. <laughs> we'll talk about that. And it's good. Yeah, we'll did. talk about that. He did that one time. Yeah. Well, he did it. He, he did, did it twice. twice. Yeah, yeah twice. he's going to do it again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah John's going to. And so there, there you see. So we, we can't get mad at John. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look what he saw. And I mean, what if God came down and scooped you up and took you to heaven, said, I want to show you the future and, and write it down and tell everybody about it. Wow. See? Yeah. And you saw things you'd never seen before in your life. It, how would you describe a car if you'd never seen a car? That's right. And so say, how would you describe a plane if you'd never seen a plane? Right. A helicopter and, and never even heard of one. Didn't, you know, didn't know what one was, but there you saw it. See? So... John seeing things that he never saw before, and he's writing them down, and he's saying, but don't get caught up in what John saw, a tree on each side. But he didn't say that was the only tree there, see. So that's all we know, but he didn't say there wasn't any pine trees or uh, oak right. trees or maple trees, you know, but he, so again, we know what John saw, but did John saw it all? No, he didn't see, he didn't see it all, see. He just got a glimpse of it. And just a taste of it. And I, mean, I, would, I would hope that we would, in some form of, of thought process, go back to the garden and say, well, Lord, if, if this is how you had, had it planned, knowing that we were going to fall anyways, but you yeah. still made it uh, perfect in the beginning, you know, uh, before the fall, if we can say it that way, there was a tree of life. There was a tree of knowledge of good and evil. There yeah. was uh, all this stuff. And, and Adam and the family were told to be fruitful and multiply. They were told to till the garden or tend the garden, work the garden. You know, there was there were gardeners, and everybody ate, and nobody was a, a everybody's a vegetarian. I mean, there's so many things that we've lost today. That's right. Because it's because of the, the fall, because of sin, and we do things differently. You know, uh, just clothing ourselves. I mean, all, all kinds of stuff. You know, they were they were totally different. Their mind was everything was different. Yeah. So, you and, know, and if you gave Adam, uh, let's say you gave Adam. Uh, 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 We'll borrow a load of bricks of gold. What would he do with it? I may use it for a doorstop yeah, or a paperweight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, what, what would Adam do with it? You know? <laughs> oh, okay. In the Garden of Eden? Yeah. Yeah, what, what would be the well, thing? Well, yeah, that's what I say. I mean, it's nice. It's pretty. Yeah, oh, that's nice. It's, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. You know? You know? But everything's perfect. What's, uh, you know? Yeah. See, so. I, I do hope the healing of the nations thing is is letting us know that there will be nations there. I, Again, as I've always said, I, I hope we we keep our tongue, we keep our nationality. Just, I mean, God made us so beautiful and so different. You know, to be able to sing praises to Jesus in multiple languages. I mean, it's just so glorious when you hear it. And you think, well, that's because God created those languages, and so those languages giving praise back to God. It's so beautiful. It's not the people. It's what He created through, you know, the Tower of Babel, etc. Through our own sin, He still gave us something glorious as all these different languages. And so I've always hoped that we, we we retain that in some form or fashion. And I don't know, maybe, 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 you know. Do you think it might represent the different nationalities of people? Well, maybe, yeah. I mean, well, I, all I got is what we're, that's all I got. <laughs> China, you know, they, they we're going to go, we're going to go far out there on this. So I'll just go far out so we can go far out. So one nation is called Jupiter. Another nation's called Mars. <laughs> Another nation's called Venus. Is that Martians? Mars? Martians. Is, uh, the guys from Mars are they called Martians? Mm -hmm. I mean, so I mean, you know, so I mean, we can we're living in this universe. So I mean, you know, they might. I mean, who knows? Yeah. You know, they're up there uh, attending the uh, the farm up there in Jupiter. You know, somewhere. I mean, you know, just you just you don't know. We know it's going to be more than we can ask or think. Yeah. So if I can think that it's going to be better than that. Yeah, if I can imagine that, it's going to be better than that. See? Yeah, will the world be the size it is now? Yeah. You know, if the world has no sea, will we just be on all kinds of land? You know, with rivers, uh, whatever, you know, but as far as ocean, see, you know, I mean, is it, will, will it be, if the city is 1,400 miles, is that is that giving us a clue as to how big the earth will be in proportion to the city that we now see? It'll assumably still be the largest city around no matter what, because it's the main city, it's the city of Jerusalem. But, you know, will the earth be bigger when the Lord gives us the new heaven and new earth? I mean, it does say new earth. So, you know, uh, will it be flatter? Will it be oblong? Will it, 
you know, I, there you go. There's all kinds good of questions. Question. Once yeah. you start getting into these questions, very good, very good, good question. You know, there's there's great evidence, and hopefully we'll learn this at some point. Don't, <clears throat> that you know, in the initial onslaught, that, that people think that the the earth was one land until it broke apart in one of those genealogies back there in Genesis somewhere. You know, and then so we have Africa and we have Asia and we have Australia and, and the Americas over here. You know, but at one point in time it was a, what they call a Pangea. That's yeah. what it's assumed. So. If that's how it initially was when he created it, will it go back to that? I mean, I, there's so many questions, so many yeah. thoughts. Anyways, that's great stuff. We're going to learn more. This is the last chapter. We're going to learn more and more. And then God is going to give us some warnings at the end. Yes. We're going to learn more and more as we go along. It's just, it's fascinating. I mean, it's just, it is, it's fascinating, you know. It, it's almost like science fiction, but it's not. It's real. And it's not symbolic. And there is a tree, That's at right. least a tree. There is a river. You know, there is, you know, golden streets. There is light 24 hours a day. <laughs> always. There's no 24 hours a day. There's light always. But there is months. There is a calendar. I mean, the some Lord, kind of month. There's some sort of yeah. crazy country that has light in a certain time of the year. It's... Always light, no matter what time of day it is. You know, we got previews everywhere. Yeah. I'm just saying. Alaska. All right, so I want yes. you to... Alaska. <laughs> Please, we're back in Revelations. This is it, guys. So if you're going to share it, you, you got a couple more weeks to share it. So please like it, share it, uh, subscribe. Yeah. I think we got 50 subscribers now. I think something like oh, that. Praise God. Yeah, our, subscri our subscribers are up. So we're up to 50. Remember, we started with none, and now we have 50. So Praise God. Huh? Imagine if all those people... Imagine if all those people share the five with five yeah, yeah. minutes. Yeah. Think about that. Multiply so, real quick. Yeah. So get it up there. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>